Good morning and welcome back to the Daily Bible Chapter Series. Today it is February the 19th of 2022 and we are in Numbers chapter 25. Numbers chapter 25 is talking about Israel's harlotry in Moab. And we'll be reading from the New King James Version. Now Israel remained in Acacia Grove and the people began to commit harlotry with the women of Moab. They invited the people to the sacrifices of their gods, and the people ate and bowed down to their gods. So Israel was joined to Baal of Peor, and the anger of the Lord was aroused against Israel. Then the Lord said to Moses, Take all the leaders of the people and hang the offenders before the Lord, out in the sun, that the fierce anger of the Lord may turn away from Israel. So Moses said to the judges of Israel, Every one of you kill his men who were joined to Baal of Peor. And indeed, one of the children of Israel came and presented to his brethren a Midianite woman in the sight of Moses and in the sight of all the congregation of the children of Israel who were weeping at the door of the tabernacle of meeting. Now when Phinehas the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron the priest, saw it, he rose from among the congregation and took a javelin in his hand. And he went after the man of Israel into the tent, and thrust both of them through, the man of Israel and the woman through her body. So the plague was stopped among the children of Israel, and those who died in the plague were twenty-four thousand. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Phinehas the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron the priest, has turned back my wrath from the children of Israel, because he was zealous with my zeal among them, so that I did not consume the children of Israel in my zeal. Therefore say, Behold, I give to him my covenant of peace, and it shall be to him and his descendants after him a covenant of an everlasting priesthood, because he was zealous for his God, and made atonement for the children of Israel. Now the name of the Israelite who was killed, who was killed with the Midianite woman, was Zimri, the son of Salu, a leader of a father's house among the Simeonites. And the name of the Midianite woman who was killed was Cosby, the daughter of Zur. He was head of the people of a father's house in Midian. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Harass the Midianites and attack them. For they harassed you with their schemes by which they seduced you in the matter of Peor and in the matter of Cosby, the daughter of a leader of Midian, their sister, who was killed in the day of the plague because of Peor. Numbers chapter 25. Um, you know, it's a very short chapter today, but as I read through that, you know, I can't help but think about, you know, our nation. <clears throat> Um, America, and, and I, I believe that America was founded on, you know, Christian principles. Um, I think if you, you know, look at the, the early documents, it seems to be set up that way, um, or with that intention. Um, but in many ways, I feel like our nation has, you know, uh, let's let's say play the harlot. Um, we've you know tied ourselves to uh, what would be the equivalent here of Baal of Peor. Um, and uh, I mean, it is my hope that one day, um, you know, an Elazar will come and uh, save save America, if you will. Um, that, or maybe Jesus will come come take us away. Um, so anyway, that's kind of what I was thinking about as I was reading through here. Like, um, you know, this. What happened here, I feel like, is still happening in the world. You know, we're not doing anything differently than than has been done. And it's like Satan only knows the same tricks, and so he keeps doing them generation after generation after generation. Um, the other thing that, that I think about when I read some of these things is like, uh, let me find the, I think it's verse, verse 7 through 9, I think. Um, now when Phineas the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron the priest, saw it, he rose from among the congregation and took a javelin in his hand, and he went after the man of Israel into the tent and thrust both of the, thrust, uh, sorry, thrust both of them through, the man of Israel and the woman through her body. So the plague was stopped among the children of Israel. You know, like that's 
fairly graphic, you know, and I mean, the Bible has so much, um, I mean, it's got a lot of death, a lot of destruction, you know, adultery, um, just if you stop and read through it, there's so much of what we have in America is still in the Bible, um, and what we have in the world really is still here, um, so again, it kind of goes back to what I was talking about before, like, we're not doing anything new, um, Satan's still playing the same tricks on us, and we're still falling for him, um, so anyway, that's my, my thoughts for the day, um, so anyway, um, thanks for joining me today, and I hope you'll join me tomorrow for Numbers 26.